Hey everyone, welcome back. This is with another reaction video. This is Once of Future King here once again. And today I'm going to be checking out a different anime. So, Komi's obviously over, and I'm not, well, for now, until the spring of this year. And I'm not sure what, if any, anime I'm going to do reactions to for the winter season. I haven't really decided yet, and none of the major ones have even started yet. It's, uh, well, it's January 3rd. Usually the anime start coming out on the 3rd, but I don't think any of the major ones have been released yet. So what I'm actually going to do is check out a bit of a throwback one. Not incredibly old, like 2017. It's not incredibly old. But a bit of a throwback. I've uh, actually already review, or, uh, reacted to the trailer for season 2 of this, which actually is a video that actually is very really good on my channel. Um, just over 100 views, but that's really good for my channel. And that is Made in Abyss. So I'm going to be reacting to Made in Abyss. Uh, this is one of those anime that's really popular and I have not yet seen. At all. And... Yeah. I'm... I'm definitely excited for this one. Uh, going in with mostly high expectations. Okay, like I said, it came out in 2017. I've heard a lot of really good things about it. Um, it's supposed to be, like, really dark, but also really funny as well. So it'll be interesting to see how they uh, blend the two. Uh, with me and anime, I feel like sometimes they blend humor and darkness really well, and other times, not so much. But I'm excited to see exactly how well this series does it. So what I'm probably going to do here with this series is I'm going to react to three episodes of video. Um... Until I'm done with the first 12 episodes, and then the final episode I'll probably react to in its own separate video. Uh, and I'm thinking about uploading these every Thursday and Monday. Like, this video right here is going to come, definitely come out on Thursday. And I'm thinking about doing these every Thursday and Monday. Just so you know, it doesn't take too terribly long to get through them, but they're also not all coming out at once. You know. Uh, so anyways, let's get to it here. I'm excited. Let's do this. So, Made in Abyss Episode 1. It'll begin in 3, 2, 1, go. Watching a dub too, by the way. If, you know I'm responsible for the area if that bothers you, I don't care. That's, that's all I have to say about that. I'm sorry. I... I prefer anime and dub. I'm watching this in dub. That's all there is to it. I really like this voice actress too, by the way. I recognize her voice. I don't re remember her name though. Let's see what is what is her name? Made in Abyss. Lucy Christian. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Assuming that's Reg or Reg or whatever her name is. Yes. Yeah, assuming that's who that character is, then yeah, Lucy Lucy Christian, one of the best dub actresses you know, working right now honestly quiet. yeah i like doing this in dub that way i can don't have to keep paying attention to subtitles i can fucking look something up without having to worry about missing shit i also already know what the series is kind of about like the premise it's about this like fantasy world i think where this huge uh, abyss exists in the ground and a lot of people like going traveling into the abyss but it's basically a one-way street meaning once you go down, you can't come back up. So, yeah. That's about the extent that I know. Also, I'm probably going to react to the movie as well, so just heads up right there. I really like this series is just jumping straight into it. There's not a lot of preamble or exposition explaining to us what the hell's going on. I'm sure that will come later. But for the beginning, though, they're just jumping straight into it. Although... Although, I'm not sure if they're in the abyss yet or not, though. Okay, so this leads me to believe that it is, they are already in the abyss. Uh, unless there's, unless monsters like these also exist outside of the abyss. Is that, from what I'm to understand, that's like the biggest, the biggest thing that's dangerous about the abyss is all the dangerous monsters that exist within it, you know. Oh, that's dead. Who the hell did that? Or not. It's running away, though. That's what's important. She's safe. Oh, 
Holy shit. Oh, so it's... Okay. So I take it this is someone different. Compared to who she was with at the very beginning of the episode. Because my initial thought was that this is a flashback as soon as I saw him. But he definitely looks different than the person that we saw with her at the very beginning. First of all, he has machinery on him, so that's obvious. That's a pretty clear giveaway that th they're different people. It looks like it's one of the... I was about to skip. Good thing I did. It looks like it's one of those things where the uh, intro is built into the episode itself, maybe? Yeah. So right now there's just music, but it looks like the episode is still playing. Like, actual content is happening. It's a really nice, unique song right here. Okay, so I guess they haven't gotten to the abyss yet. Okay, so it was the beginning of the episode just a little ways down, but it was still close enough to the top where they could get back up, but there were still dangers. Something tells me that's not going to stick. Something tells me that that's going to change within the next episode or two. Maybe even by the end of this episode, who knows. The hell? Hell? Uh, did they put him in an electric chair? What the fuck? Do people just not work the same in this world as they do in ours? Like, is electricity not something that can kill a person? I think she's kind of nuts. In more than just one way. And I think the series is validating my concerns. <laughs> the hell? I don't know, I love it. I would believe that. It is electricity after all. Seriously, who shocks who shocks someone to try and wake them up? Appar apparently, Rika does. I, I don't even. She is an awful liar. Oh, so was the blackout accidentally caused by her? explanation I think I'll have you clean up the entire orphanage <laughs> okay I'm gonna take a while I guess and say he's not really a robot he's probably just he was probably just wounded severely at some point in the past so he has some mechanical uh, limbs now but he's probably not 100% a robot I mean he has a dick so why would a robot need that Oh, he didn't seem to know what it was. So... Oh, maybe it's, he is a robot and his creator had some really bizarre fetishes? Or maybe he just lost some very strange memories? I don't know. <laughs> okay, so there's the abyss. Or the pit, I guess they're calling it here. It's huge. 
spirit of adventure for the unknown. So, are there like towns and cities away from the abyss that aren't anywhere near it? Swallowed up by the chasm's beckoning call. Swallowed up by the abyss. Okay. Well, that was episode one. So, so already my first impressions are... I really enjoyed that first episode. Um, I don't want to do too much uh, talking right now until I get to the end of the first three episodes. But I, re I really enjoyed that first episode, man. Um, I can't believe it took me this long to get to this freaking series. But yeah, so obviously Rika was denied the ability to go further into the abyss. Uh, in this episode, but obviously she's going to. That's literally the whole premise of the series. Obviously she's going to. How long it'll take exactly, I said, you know, maybe at the end of the first episode. That obviously didn't happen. Uh, but I'll give it two, three episodes max before she ends up, she and her friends end up delving further into the abyss. And essentially leaving behind their whole life because it seems like you can go a little ways into the abyss and still come back out but i could be wrong but what i what i recall hearing is that once you get far enough into the abyss at least there is no going back all right it's basically a one-way trip at that point so yeah but anyways enough with that 